Hello everyone, I'm Lynn and today's topic, very cool topic here, the blue light tunnel, which is the gateway to ascension. Before I get started with a question and answer, I did just want to put a quick shout out to all of you that it is no secret that censorship and shadow banning and all that is just really, really ruthless right now. It's very difficult for people to get their content out there, grow their audience, share their channels and all that. So I just ask each and every one of you, if you could even share my channel with one other person to please help me get this psychic focus community to grow, I would be very, very grateful to all of you for that help. I'm working hard. I'm really trying here. It's just, there's so many forces fighting against people who want to speak out and share what their truth is. So anyway, I will move on from there. Let's get straight to the question here. It says, thank you for answering my question about the light tunnel and trap. Perhaps you can do a public reading on the trap in the blue light you mentioned that seems to emerge. It would be great to get a better understanding on this. Thank you. So I'd had a recent question that was asked me regarding the white light that many of us see upon transition. And I was asked what we do if we want to incarnate, but we want to incarnate in a higher density. If we are ready and prepared through our current 3D experience, how... How do people ascend? Because once you go through that light tunnel, you get basically washed to be able to be recycled and reincarnate again. So this person wanted to know how, how they ascend, but yet avoid that too. How do you do both things? Because they're very contradictory. So I saw that in our current life that we are having here on earth, our current 3D life, we're presented with opportunities to grow and expand through our experience. And we all know that. We all go through all kinds of stuff, challenges, tests, and we navigate our way through it. These experiences, along with our spiritual development and wisdom, can provide opportunities to elevate our vibrations. Are we able to rise above the occasion? Are we able to learn from things and grow our wisdom? If at the end of this life, we're prepared and we're elevated to a point where we qualify to incarnate in a higher density realm versus Back in the 3D bandwidth of frequency, we will be given some choices upon the transition point. I understand that once we cross the veil and we leave the 3D body, we're going to have choices out there. We can choose to stay. Some people do. They want to guide, protect, watch those in the 3D. They have a connection and they want to stay around. You may even choose to wait until other beings within your soul pack, which is what I refer to the people we typically jump back in with, you might want to wait for them to cross over so you can jump back in with them together. If we pick this option, you're always going to have the option at a later time to go toward the light tunnel. They don't close it off because they actually want you to go through it. The tricky thing with the light tunnel is upon death, a bright white in a very enticing tunnel I get is going to appear. Oftentimes you're met with loved ones that are stuck in the 3D loop. That might be who's there to help you cross over and feel more at ease or beings, and this is important, that manifest to look like the loved or familiar one. It might not really be them. It could be part of the trick that help guide you in that direction. You always have the option to decline, but they're very persuasive as the goal of the white tunnel is to reset memories and essentially wipe you clean for the next incarnation into the 3D experience. This tunnel was designed to trap beings on this planet and discourage ascension because you cannot work for the entities that had created this if you escape it. So they've created this by design to keep you recycling back through the light tunnel so you incarnate hair on earth and don't ascend into somewhere else. If you're somewhere else, they can't control you, right? You're your own being. You've gone to something different. The other option you're going to have, if you are ready for this option, I saw this bright blue light tunnel. It's like this bright blue light, beautiful blue light emerges. Upon death, your vibration, if it's high enough, you're going to be upgraded enough in this current life to withstand incarnating into this higher density. And it will show you this tunnel. You're going to have this option of a blue light tunnel. I hear that this is an honor and it has been earned and worked for through several earthly incarnations. It's not just your first go around that you're able to do this, but many of us, most all of us have been here time after time and lived countless number of lives with countless numbers of experiences. This is a tunnel 
to ascension and the gateway to a higher vibrational reality. Sometimes you have to look for it as you know it's going to emerge, almost like it's hidden and it's one last test to know it's there. It's like you have to have faith. Like, I'm ready. I'm doing this. Where's my blue tunnel at? Where's the blue light? And you kind of look for it and then it emerges. I feel like there's this one last little test kind of a thing. Once located, you may have a loved one greet you or the pathway may look to be sparse, but it's going to have the sense of security and warmth as you approach it. It doesn't feel scary. It feels like, wow, this is what I've been waiting on. I've been waiting on how many incarnations for this thing to appear. And there it is. And I'm going to do it. Upon death, if your vibration is high enough and you've upgraded enough in this current life to withstand incarnating into the higher density, you're going to be given the option of the blue light tunnel. So watch for it. I encourage everyone to meditate and think about this. I would love to know your thoughts or how you feel or how this comes through to you. See what resonates is true and imagine the feeling of this blue light. And I thought when you meditate, connect to it with your heart. Allow that heart chakra to open up and see how that feels and how that resonates. I feel like that's where your truth meter is going to know if, yeah, this is right. This feels good to me. So by all means, I would love to know what you think in comments. What emotion does this trigger? Again, please like and share my videos. It just helps so much. Again, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Take care. Bye.